Kramer from the University of Virginia and Associate Editor of Jack Cardiovascular Imaging. And with me today in the studio is Dr. Chun Wan from the University of Washington. And we're here to discuss his uh, very exciting paper that's soon to be published in Jack Imaging on MRI of atherosclerotic plaque composition with lipid lowering in the carotid arteries. Chun, tell us about how you came up with the idea for this study. Thank you. The, uh, I think it has been shown in the literature and also with many uh, different groups' work, MRI is a technique that you can actually visualize atherosclerotic plaque composition and also measure plaque volume. So we think that it will be interesting to do a study to look at what is the true effect of statins or other different compounds in terms of what, what is the time course of changes in lesion composition and visualized by non-invasive -inv imaging. So this is essentially a study based on that concept. And how many patients were included in the study and how were they selected? There were 122 patients included in the study, and this is selected based on three populations. One is a population with conformed uh, coronary artery disease. The second one is with conformed uh, atherosclerosis in the carotids, and the third one is uh, with a peripheral artery disease. And, and this study that you uh, performed was in particular in the carotid artery, was that correct? So tell us about the imaging that you performed. Yeah, this is actually the imaging, even though the patients are coming from different uh, sources, the imaging is fully focused on the carotid artery based on a multi-contrast approach that we have developed over the years. And the idea is with this, that we should be able to actually visualize the uh, center at the carotid bifurcation region and to look at the atherosclerotic plaque itself, its size, and also its composition. And what different components can you visualize with your multispectral MRI approach? Well, we have, in this particular study, that we have actually looked at lipid-rich necrotic core, intraplaque hemorrhage, calcium, loose matrix, in addition to the regular, size, regular measurements of the lumen size and vessel, vessel wall size. And uh, these patients were all treated with aggressive lipid lowering. Over what period of time were they studied? And this is another thing that is quite interesting of the study is this is actually followed, we followed patients for three years. So there's a baseline one year, two year, and three year MRI scans. So it's overall it's a three year follow up. And what was the most important finding in your, in your study? We're finding the, among the subjects, uh, it's a, uh, 33 of them actually have a formula, half a form lipid-rich necrotic core at baseline. You see the reduction of the size of this lipid-rich necrotic core over this uh, three-year course. You actually see the changes in year one, year two, and year three. And the rate of this change is sl slightly different per year. This, I think, is the most important finding from the study, I think. Tell us about this rate of change. Was it uh, initially faster and then the, the, the lipid depletion slows over time? Is that correct? That's the interesting part. It seems to be that for year one, it's a faster rate of depletion. And year two is rather similar to year one. And then it slowed down from year two to year three. And what is also interesting of the study is the, uh, if you look at the vessel wall volume measured from that same segment, the changes of vessel wall volume was more prominent at later years. In other words, the time course of the size change, the plaque burden change, versus the so-called lipid-rich necrotic core change over that same period is following a slightly different track. And do you think that's because different components are changing during those, that later time course, or is it not I clear? Th I think that actually there are there are some indica indications in the study we, we have discussed in the manuscript itself. If you look at the changes, there is actually a percentage increase of fibrous tissue component over that period. So what that may be indicating is that the lesion is becoming more stabilized. And that truly is the hypothesis we're trying to test with this study. Well, I think this is a very exciting and Im important data that's showing that lipid lowering depletes the lipid-rich ne necrotic 
core and increases fibrous tissue over time, as demonstrated by non-invasive magnetic resonance imaging in the carotid artery. Congratulations on a terrific and very important study, and we're very proud to publish it in Jack Cardiovascular Imaging. Thank you very much, and we are very excited about having this published. I think it's a very important piece of uh, data, especially for imaging field. And please look for this paper in Jack Cardiovascular Imaging, and thanks for uh, spending time with us.